Hello, my son. Yes, how are you? Did you go to school today? Yes. Where is your mommy? My mommy is here. Very good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Take the back to the room, eh? Oh, my sweet heart. <laughs> How are you? How is the baby? I hope he's kicking well. <laughs> yes. He's fine. Good. Dad, what are you doing in the kitchen? Preparing your meal. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish up. Okay. Take you to the hospital. Ah! Beatrice! Yes, ma'am! Please! Ah! Oh, it's okay. It's alright. Ah! Sorry. Auntie, what is it? My waist. My waist. Go and bring my kite Oh, oh. please don't. No worry, it's there, ma'am. Okay. Do I take you to the hospital, eh? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. He's getting stronger and stronger. No, no, no. Just. Okay. Get situation. The baby is in a bridge presentation and the only option is caesarean. <laughs> Doctor, what? An operation? <laughs> is there no other way out of this, Doctor? No doctor will guarantee you of any other option apart from caesarean. <laughs> the only Western world they prefer caesarean to the normal baby. Please do all you can to do. Do all you can to save my wife and the baby. Hey, in other words, you have to sign the consent form for the month. Well, I mean, out there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh. Oh. How is she? Um, she's okay. She's okay. It's just that we lost the baby. God. But oh, your wife is okay. okay. Can I see her now? Oh, you're going to see her in 30 minutes time. The nurses are trying to tidy her up. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's the most important thing. Okay? Okay. Can I sit and we do fun?
tell her to prepare press can and bring her to my office immediately. Chief, madam, you're most welcome. Thank you. You see, the girl I'm about to give to you is one of the best we have here. She's pretty, she's brilliant, intelligent, has all the qualities every parent would want in a child. I'm sure you would like her. Madam, I'm very grateful. You're welcome. I'm very, very grateful. And, uh, but you see my wife here, I love her very much. I can see that. Anything that will make her happy is what I want to do. Okay. Well, I must say here, Chief, that um, you've given so much to the society. This orphanage is a beneficiary of your benevolence, and um, it will be our greatest honor to give you one of our children to call your own. Uh, we know the child will be in good hands, so we're not afraid. We're... Thank you very much for the confidence and the belief. She's so my dear. That's true, my dear. So come, 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 come. So innocent. Yeah. I, I love this. I'll take her. I'll mm -hmm. take her. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Excuse me, madam. What is? What's this? What's... Oh, that. Uh, it's nothing. It's just a birthmark. A birthmark. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, okay, okay. Don't mind. We'll take her. We'll take her. Um, Priska, I am not going to call you Priska anymore. Your name from now will be my princess. Mm, that's a baby, you're a baby. That's a good one. My baby. Isn't she lucky? <laughs> all right, so um, I think that is all settled. Yes, yes. Okay, in that case. Um, Chief, we'll prepare all the necessary documents. Okay. You need to sign to formalize this adoption. No problem. All right. And a uh, change of name and... Uh, no, uh, no, um, I like the name. Okay. I think we'll retain the name. It's all set with that. Excuse me. Don't fight. You understand? Fight. Don't worry. We have problems. Go and meet this Harriet in office, right? Mm. Love you, my baby. Be a good girl. Please take care of my daughter for me. even the slightest glimpse of hope. Married to you for more than 20 years now and still no child to show for it. And you still sleep peacefully. Eh? God. I lost my baby and I thought that was all I could lose. But I never realized I also lost my peace. The security in my marriage. Oh. I am sorry, Chief. I don't have a good news for you. How bad is it? The test here shows that it's not advisable for her to get pregnant again. Doctor, why? The layers in her womb are so thin to 
support pregnancy. And also, um, age is another factor that is against her. Age? Age? How old am I? No, Doctor. That is not possible. That is impossible. See, if she goes ahead to defy my counsel and take in, she might not come out of it. I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. It's um 70 30 chances. You are awake at this time of the night. Look, you are beginning to scare me. What's the meaning of all this? Being married for over 20 years, I'm not in the show for it. Do that. There is plenty to worry about. And you think crying for over 20 years is going to change the situation, is it? Look, touching that. Please. You are not the one on the first seat. You don't attend functions and see people with their children. You don't mix with women and hear them talk about their children. But, but we have a child. We have host. Please, don't patronize me. Don't. Just don't. Georgina, stop torturing yourself. We had a child and lost it due to no fault of yours. Will your relatives understand that? Will they? Listen to me. I no longer attend your village or family meetings because I cannot stand their jeering and taunting. I, I, I would prefer to endure the taunting of a few relatives than going through the pains of losing a wife. We, we, we had a mutual understanding that you wouldn't get pregnant again. It's not as easy as you think. It's not. It's okay. I love you so much. And I love our son. There is relative peace in my house. Look, if crying for 20 years has not been able to change the situation, I will advise you save the rest of your tears for my dying days. You are not going to die. You will not die. Okay, I'm not going to die. I'm not dying. Stop crying.
everybody for coming out today to celebrate my daughter. Once again, I say welcome to you all. My princess is um, the epitome of my joy. She is my morning dew, the jewel I have in my home. In fact, she is my heaven on earth. I want you all to feel very, very free. Enjoy yourselves because your friend, my princess Priska, has everything you need for your relaxation and enjoyment. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Let us go now. Come I'm talking to my daughter. Vanilla. Vanilla. Yes, mommy. Okay. Um, Priska. Yes, daddy. Take care of the house, huh? I need two cups, too. Two cups? Yeah. You'll get fatter like me. Yeah, sweetheart, did you um, remember the gift? Yeah, the gift? I, I, I thought... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sure? It's there, it's there, it's there. It's there. Okay. But Where is my phone? Your phone is here. Oh, my... Uh, give, me, give me, give me, give me. You forgot your own? I don't know, and she's going to call me today. Oh, God. I wonder why you forget your phone. <laughs> Accessible. I've been here a countless time. Oh my god, girl, I'm sorry. I'm School's sorry. admission, you know. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, are you finally going to school here in Nigeria? No, 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 no. Trust daddy now. Good admission for me. I start from university. That's interesting. Yeah. I envy you. <laughs> so, when do you intend living for the States? President daddy, you know, he's a very, very busy person. So, I scared him. So, once he just gives me that call, I am. Wow. There. That's interesting. Hope you remember me in your kingdom. Oh, hello. Certificate house here. Yeah. What? Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. What station? What station are you calling from? What? Okay, okay, station. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, what? Where are you? Accident. Oh my god, my brother is involved. We have to.
Yes, yes, I am. Where are they? Just take it easy. Yes, take it easy. Easy. Just take this corridor, the right door. Don't you have all that relatives? I don't have any money, I don't have any money. Okay, your parents were involved in a very ghastly car accident earlier on. Oh my god! Your mother survived it, and as it is now, I still battling to save her life. Take it there, calm down. something to eat.
She was married to a billionaire, yet her only brother and family were feeling from hands to mouth. And uh, Joshua, you stand here. You, look at him. To lecture me about duty. Joshua, you are stupid. I mean, it's enough. It is not enough. It's enough. It is enough not enough. Like that. I promise you one thing. If you bring that girl to this house, I am going to make this house unbearable for everybody. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Rather, it is a guarantee. I will come back here. Come back here. Where do you think you are going? That girl must leave my house. Period. She must leave. <laughs> we shall see. Going to. <laughs> Uncle. Uncle, I heard everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry how to make you go about this. This girl, I'm the head of this family. But she's the heart of the family. One cannot do without the other. <laughs> Then, she must go. We have to stay till tomorrow morning. It's too late. Stay one more day in this house. No way. Impossible with your wife. I'm sorry. I want to be a customer in public in this home. In that case.
Agatha, Agatha, say, say. She's not gonna give your money. It was boys that robbed me. Sure? Chief Bernard, this girl will shoot here and she will see now. What did this fight get? They fight for this life now. Okay, lift her up, please. Lift her up, lift her up. Come, come, just carry that up. Now, what did this innocent girl say? They fight for this life. Carry, come, come to the guy. My car is this way. This way, this way, this way. Carry her leg, carry her leg. Carry, carry. The out of me. What kept you so long in the office? Dali, I'm very sorry. See, I was attacked by armed robbers this evening. My God! Look at me. Hey! You see? And the, the vigilantes who went after the armed robbers ended up shooting the innocent person. Oh God! This is serious. The girl was rushed to the DLS hospital because she was losing so much blood. My goodness. It's okay. Thank God you were not hurt. Let us come and take your bath and eat your food. Thank you. We'll still have some time to talk. Thank you very much. How are you feeling now? I, I, I was here earlier, but you were sleeping. I'm feeling much better, sir. Thank you very much for your concern. See, it's um, the only thing I can do for you after those. Uh, Incompetent if you take people try to kill. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. At least I'm alive and I'm well. Um, but, excuse me, sir. Please, um, are you able to recover my belongings? Oh, I, I, I am sorry. I, I was more interested in getting you to the hospital uh, than, you know, looking after your, your, you know, your belongings. <laughs> It's okay. So whatever you lost, I will replace them twofold. Just get well, okay? Sir, it's not the cost. It's just that those things were given to me by my mother. And I cherish them so much. Making me there's this nostalgic feeling. It keeps me. I know how you feel. I know how you feel, but never to worry. Okay? Uh, talking about your mother. I, I want you to give me her phone number and probably her address. I want to get in touch with them. I know they must be bothered about you by now. She's um. She's what? Oh, she's the girl I told you about. Did you tell me you're bringing her home today? No, 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 Please, don't you have to sit down. Sit down. What is your name? Priska, ma. Priska.
Since you have to be staying in my house, you have to walk out your stay. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. You have to do all the house chores and any other task that will be required of you. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. shopping for me when you are through with what you are doing, okay? Okay. Any other thing? Uh, no, not for me. Keeps your heart at home. Please, sir, try and eat something before you leave.
What are you doing with the money in your hands? Thank you, sir. Mommy gave me the money to do some shopping for her. Happy bite. Happy bite. Okay. Uh, along the Air Force Road? Yes, sir. Are you going to drop her on your way? No, no, no. That's not on my way at all, at all, at all. She has to find her way. Okay. I, I will drop you. That's on my way. Priska marvels me at her level of intelligence and, and sheer brilliance. She must have had a very good upbringing because it shows in her. Did you hear what I said? Oh, sorry, honey. My mind was not there at all, at all. What were you thinking about? Nothing serious. Ordinary woman of faith. Honey, how long are you staying in Abuja? Um, between five to seven days, maximum. I will give you some opportunity to see the ministry people about that contract. Okay. Honey. Yes. Austin called. He's asking for 80,000 Naira. He says he has run out of money. Huh? But at the beginning of every semester, I pay 300,000 Naira into that boy's account. What does he do with all the money I give him? Uh, honey, please don't be angry. You know the complex nature of the course he's studying. Please take it easy with him. Please. Well, uh, in your own best interest, that boy better come out with something that you can be proud of. I hope so. I, I, I don't have cash here. Let me give you a check. I met in Georgina's house. Yes, my um, my friend, Asuri. I thought her smudge. How about her? Was she at all where you left? Um, yes, she was. But, you know, she had one or two places to attend to. And I really don't know her itinerary for the day. Please, when you get home, yes, tell her that it's very much important for us to see. Tell her also that Mrs. Uh, Mechie. Oh, beautiful. I perfectly remember. Oh, please don't forget. Thank you, Have a nice time.
Mama. Ich kann dir sagen, dass ich zurück kann. Excuse me, ma. Yes. This money was given to me by uncle this morning to buy some clothes. Give the money to buy things. Yes, ma. Buy clothes for who? For myself. Oh. How much is it? Nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. Yes. That's good. That's good. Come. I have to buy the clothes myself, huh? Okay, ma. Okay. Thank you, ma. Food, oh, everything. Come on, you just left us two months ago back to school. Well, you know, mommy, home is still home anytime, any day. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, how is school? I'm sure you received the money I sent to you last week. Yes, I received it, and school was fine when I left. Good. Priska! Priska, who's Priska? This whole time. Priska! Uh, no, 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 don't, don't worry, I'll take care of myself. Don't Why? Worry. Let her do it, she's the housemaid. Don't worry, mom, I'll take care of myself, thank you. Thanks. Okay, so go and prepare rice and noodles for my son, okay? All right, ma. Any other thing, mom? Not for now. Mom, um, you said this girl is your new housemaid. Yes. Is there anything wrong with her? Not at all. Not at all, Mom. Now I'm back to school. You said school is okay and you, that you received the money I sent to you last week. So why are you here now? Because I'm sure school is still in session. You worry too much, Mommy. Are you saying I should not come back home anytime I wish to again? No, 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 no my dear, no. It's just that it took you time to secure this admission. And I want you to take your studies seriously. Hmm? And come out in good grades. Don't worry, mommy. Everything is under control. Okay? She says so. Mm -hmm. Mommy, let me go freshen up and then uh, last for a while in my room. That would be best for you. Okay, mommy. Best for you. Okay. Welcome home, my dear. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> oh boy, Alpha now. Yes, so yes, uh, I do know. I just, I just came in. I just came into the house now. Yeah, thank God my father traveled. Though. Yes, so yes, yes. I would have had a lot of explanation to do. Ah, oh boy, my mom. Ah, I can handle her now. I don't know who's smoking. I'm smoking. I can handle her. Are you out of your mind? I can't expect me to tell her. At least not for now. I can't tell her. Not, not now. Yes. Oh, all right. You see, you know what? I don't know how I got myself into this mess, but somehow, somewhere, you know, I know that I will get myself out of this mess. Don't worry. I will. I will. 
Cynthia. I haven't called her. Oh. All right, man. All right. Okay. But one thing I know, Shai, by the time this problem breaks out, all hell will break loose. But anyhow, anyway, I will solve her. I will find her. I will have her. Don't worry, I have a problem. Cheers, man. I got to go now. Yeah, later. Later, yeah. Start enough, okay? You should just call me Austin, alright? I'm sorry if I have to disobey you, sir. I, I do feel more comfortable calling you that. Anyway, I'm not here to argue on that. But I don't understand why you're still here by this time of the night. I don't just understand. What are you doing here? Well, I'm just trying to read, sir. You? Read? Yes, sir. This is the only time I have to read after the day's job. And um, you sleep here in the kitchen? Yes, we. Yes, I do. But, but, but I, I, but I, I, I thought. Never mind. Never mind. All right. How many rooms there are in your own father's house? I'm sorry, mommy. But I'm just wondering. I mean, in a big house like this, with so many empty rooms, that poor girl still sleeps on the floor in the kitchen. I see. So this is what all this is about. I made. Now listen to me, young man. This is my house. I decide who and where anyone sleeps. Do I make myself clear? But mommy... Shut up. Shut up. I'll pretend we never had this discussion. I wait. Now go to your room. Before your mother comes back from wherever she went to. Well, please, girl. Yes, sir. Don't you get tired of too much work to do? I mean, go get some rest and then later come back and finish it. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Resting is not a luxury I can afford. 
And moreover, I wouldn't want anything that's going to interfere with the rest of your mother. She's been so nice to me. Please, sir, uh, if there's nothing that you want me to do, I'd like to continue my washing. Oh, nothing. No thanks. No thanks. What kind of human being is this? Even in the midst of so much hardship, she carries herself with so much dignity and humility. Strange. Strange. And to cap it all up, she sounds intelligent and looks beautiful, even in rags. Something is wrong somewhere. Cynthia! What's the meaning of this trade? you think you're performing? Your house. You expect me to be impressed or what? You left campus two days ago without saying a word. I expect me to go for sit down and do nothing. I don't need a babysitter, do I? You see, that's what I'm talking about. Pompous. Pride. Look at the way you're talking to me. Look at the way you're behaving. Listen. Look, I'm tired, man. Look, Cynthia, you know what? This whole thing don't affect becoming. Don't you think I'm getting tired of it? Listen, darling. Whatever it is that is wrong, we can always sit down and discuss it. What's happening to us? There is nothing to discuss. Cynthia, look, I have problems in my head. And you expect me to sit down here and talk about us? See, whatever the problem is, we can face it together, honey. Why? Why? What's happening to us? What's going on? We can only sit down and discuss it. You don't get it, do you? Look, go home, Cynthia. Go home. I need space. Lots of it. When my problems are over, maybe I'll call you. We can talk about it. We can still end for talk about it. I'll see you. for your own good. You have to use them judiciously. Because it will take a long time for new ones to come like this, okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, oh my darling. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Welcome. We'll see looking as cute as ever. Um, for you. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Yes. Uh, um, uh, Paul, leave that back there and uh, go again. Okay? Priska, take this back to our room upstairs. Eh? Welcome, sir. Uh, how are you, Priska? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I thought you were not at home when I did not see the Mercedes one night here at the garage. Austin went out with it. Austin? Yes. What is he doing at home by this time when his mates are studying at school? I don't know. He said he came to do something. And did you deem it fit to find out what those something in quote are? <laughs> Georgina, you are impossible. Honey, but Austin is no longer a small baby now. I think he can take care of himself without being supervised after all, he stays in school alone. Look, let me tell you something. For as long as that young man stays in my house, eats my food, and takes my money to pay his school fees, he is under my supervision. Honey, it hasn't come to that yet. No, it has. Do you know what that young man's problem is? No. You! What? Me? So I decided to preoccupy my mind with it. Is there anything you want me to do for you, sir? Oh, I wanted to take some drugs before going to bed. It's alright, I've got it. It's alright. 
Continue with your reading. Uh, but make sure you go to bed early enough, okay? You see what this girl is reading? Making proper use of the little time she has. But what about my son? He is busy loafing around. My God, I don't know why. I just wish I had my own true child. Ah, sister, please sit down. You're welcome. <laughs> my brother, Dimitus, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sister, you're looking, you're looking so good. But you look 20 years younger than your age. That's the way it should be. I've been taking care of myself. I'm happy for you, sister. Thank you. So do I. Are you looking so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Yes. But sister, you shouldn't have come to the office. You should have come to the house. At least my wife and I will entertain you. Me? To set my foot into that home? So that your wife, that male dog, you call your wife, will have the opportunity insult me. Then I just, I'm sorry I won't be there. Sister, you're not being fair to me. You are not being fair to me at all. Uh, you are the one that is not fair to the family. You are a beloved brother and you decided to count yourself out of the family. Look, sister, you know me. You know me very well. You know that I cannot and I will not run a polygamous home. It does not allow that. And we know that I have a son already. Do you see a son? Or an imposed son? Look, no, sister, however you look at it, whether, whether imposed or a biological son, that boy is like a son to me. A son, like a son, is never a son. Don't be a fool. In fact, you're a fool. Don't just my brother. One day, Water will find its level, and that son of yours will be of age, and he will look at your face, and we will say to you that you are not his biological father. To be forewarned is to be forearmed, and your senior sister, remember this. Thank you, and bye bye. Good afternoon, how are you? Welcome. Uh -huh. Did you say that you is a house girl? Yes. She's my housemate. Is there anything wrong with her? Housemate? Yes. It's okay. Well, just that uh, I'm amazed at her level of intelligence. But she's too big to be your husband. It is. Who oh, is too big? Please come. Intelligent and too big to be a housemate. Maybe you forgot what you wanted to say. I can't keep such a big girl as a maid in my house. Let's drink, you go. Well, it's okay, but um, we are all entitled to our own opinion. But if I'm to say, my dear, there is something special about that girl. Come on, mm -hmm. Special about this car? Special or no special, she's still my housemate. <laughs> Starts from there and ends there. <laughs> <laughs> son for someone else. I'm sorry, it can't work. Oh, listen, don't you think I have considered that before coming? I will still marry you and the boy. And the boy will become my son if you so desire. You mean 
my god. <laughs> of us will live together as one happy big family. My God. Tell me what to do. My head is pack of confusion. Paul. Sir. I don't want to go home now. Let us drive around a little. Yes, sir. Oh. Professor. Hello, Professor. Good day. Oh, we're all fine. How's the family too? Well, yes. Uh, yes, I, yeah, I, I saw him at home, yes. He hasn't told us anything. What? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, Professor, please, please, I want you to use your good offices to, 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 to do all that you can. Please, because of my sake. Yes. All right. Okay, Professor. I must get to the root of this. I must get to the bottom of this matter, please. Okay, Professor. Uh, Paul. Sir. Please, drive to the house immediately. Drive home right away now. Yes, sir. Come on, Mommy. I'm, I'm going through a lot in my life right now. I need a lot of space. You need nothing. I say you need nothing. Go! Get this! You want to kill our son? Eh? What is it? Why are you here? What has he done that you want to kill my son for me? Eh? No son of mine will ever do what, what this boy did. What did he do? Eh? What did you hear that you want to kill my, my son? Our son? Eh? You're asking me. Ask him. Go ahead and ask him. Ask him what I've been doing with all the money we're giving in the campus. Austin, you heard your father. What have you been doing with the money given to you? Did you hear me? Of course he will not talk. He wouldn't say. But let me save you the suspense. Austin has been using the money given to him to sponsor court activities in the campus. How? Yes. Ha! My God. How? And, and let me tell you, the same court was responsible for the attack on 15 students in the campus and they are now hospitalized due to injuries they sustained in the attack. So then we are arrested and they confess that your son, this stupid boy, is their sponsor. Hey! Hey! Hey, God! Oh! Were it not for my friend, Professor Dalamala, who intervened, this boy would have been rusticated by now. I mean, the school only suspended him and asked him to come and bring his parents to sign undertaking of good conduct. But what did your son do? He just came back here and kept quiet, gallivanting all over the place. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just pray. Just kneel down and pray to God that none of those students dies. If any one of them should die, your son will be standing trial for murder charges. What are we going to do now? Oh, did you say we? I am true with Austin's education. I am true with Austin's education. I don't want to waste my money on somebody who does not value education. Somebody who is not serious. Look at Priska. She does all the work in this house, yet she finds time to read. That's an example of somebody who knows the value of education. Please, honey, it has not come to that now. Uh, oh, don't do that. Oh, I have done it already. I have done it already. I don't want to waste my time on this boy. He wasted my money on courtism. Look, Georgina, I have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. And let me warn you. When next I see you touch any of my cars, I will make you regret the day you were born. Do you hear me? Thank <laughs> you. 
Salary. Don't even utter a word. Don't say a word. I said it one day ago. I said it that the burden of this young man is nothing but a recipe for disaster. And that is what it has turned out to be. This is not fair now. Eh? Trying to heap all the all, all the blames at my doorstep. It's not fair at all. Oh, you even have the guts. You even have the nerve to talk about being fair. After all my sacrifices for you. For this marriage and for that boy. But all a waste. All pure vanity. How fair can that be? Look, from now on, I am going to do as my instinct tells me. I don't want to say I have any regrets about my life, but for now, let me make a meaning and impact with a little time left. So what are you going to do now? I am going to do what I should have done long ago. Yes, um, I want you to go and uh, enroll in a very good computer school within this neighborhood. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much, sir. So I'm finally going back to school. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, just uh, keep up the faith, okay? Study hard and leave the rest for me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, you call, call. How is it? Just buy the things you need. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sorry for the accident. Hey. Let me help you. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Please, please, sir. Please leave the kitchen, please. What do you want me to do for you, sir? Ah, God. Hey. Sir, please. Sir, please say what you want and please leave the kitchen, please. Sir. Did you know what I said? Say what you want and to be done, but please. Hello, sir. Yeah? Yes, I said say what you want and to be done, but please leave the kitchen. Nothing. Nothing. Never mind. This temptation. This girl will kill me. Oh, this girl will kill me. This car marvels me at her level of intelligence and, and sheer brilliance. She must have had a very good upbringing because it shows in her.
Did you hear what I said? Huh? There is something special about that girl. Come on, please. Special about Priska? Look at Priska. She does all the work in this house, yet she finds time to read. That's an example of somebody who knows the value of education. Hmm. So this has been the plan all along. Work her way into the house of everybody around me, including my husband. And now, Donatus wants to abandon my son for this bastard. In this house. Eh? The music has turned into a war song. And we must dance the war dance in order to protect our lives. Okay. Show those books on the floor. I'm telling them to do this right now. I don't know. 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 well for once. Well, it's not that I'm against it too. It's just that you may not know the value of these clothes. Huh? And she'll just mess them all up. I don't think so. I do not think so. Ah, uh, why are you looking like this? Um, um, I was going to I was going to space some clothes outside when accidentally hit my face on the film of the door. That must have been very painful. Have you taken any pain reliever? Yes, and she gave me some and you are. Um, these clothes are for you. Hmm? And then, that reminds me, what are the ones I gave you money for? Yes, I did buy the clothes and some boots too. Thank you very I have given your auntie some money. Uh, Any time you make up your mind on which computer school to attend, tell her she's going to go to register you. Um, let me go to the club. I may come back a little bit late. It's okay. yeah. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. So, I'll be with you. Yeah. Go and keep those clothes in my room.
are you sneaking behind me, sir? Crystal, come to me. Huh. Listen. Come to me. Nobody's at home. No, sir. No, sir. Please. Crystal, I mean, why to tell you that after the party? No, please, sir. I don't want to complicate my life, sir. Please. What do you mean, complicate your life? Please, sir. Listen, Priska. I want you to be my girlfriend. Sir, listen, sir. Listen, sir, please. I can't do this. Please. I'm begging you, sir. Please. Cut that circle off. Call me Austin. Austin. Oh, All right? Austin. Please. Please, sir, please. I don't want to complete my life. Please, besides, my benefactor's son. Please, don't do this, sir. Please, your parents have been very nice to me, sir. Look, cut my parents out of this. <sighs> eh? Why are you being stubborn? Why? Why are you being stubborn? I'm <sighs> sorry, sir. Eh? I'm sorry, sir. Are you saying you don't like me at all? <sighs> I are like... you saying that? No, I like you as a person, sir, but nothing more. Please, please, nothing more, sir. Nothing more. Nothing more. That's all, sir. Please. Okay, Priska. Priska, come. My sitting room, this one kept. Why? I'm sorry, ma. I wanted to finish washing the dishes, then mopping the floor before coming to you. This thing. Oh my God. You want to finish washing clothes and mopping the floor before cleaning my sitting room, isn't it? I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry. Come, 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 come here. You want to start running my home for me? No, ma. You want to tell me how to do how to do it? Ah! Mommy, mommy, please, mommy, mommy, leave me, 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 leave it's okay, bro. It's okay. She should just come and clean this place up, bro. Okay, bro. Well, she will. I'm going to call her. Mom, she will do it. Don't worry. <sighs> no. I must frustrate this girl. That's the only way I can get her to leave this house on her own accord. I can't send her away. Donatus will not agree. But if I put pressure on her quietly, she will run. Yes! That small girl cannot come and take over my house from me. And my, my, my husband wants to train her in school. And the next minute, she's the new wife. Ah, no. No! God forbid! God forbid! Take it easy. Okay. okay. Um, Austin, you're welcome. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Good. Long time. Yeah. Um, I'm here to put this straight to you. Hold on. You can go inside. Yes. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to trust any going anywhere. Austin, please, you have to go no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not here just... for any going inside or what. I'm here to put it straight to you. All right. Since you don't want to go in, I think I have to leave. You guys really need to talk, Austin. Try and sort things out with her. I think I have to leave now and stop the rain from dropping from my friend's eyes. Since I'll see you later. Okay. Take care. What? Well, um, come. What's what, what, what's, what, what's this all about? It's it's just a concerned friend. Concerned. Mm -hmm. I see. Look, Cynthia, I'm here to put it straight to you. This whole relationship thing is not working. Don't you understand? No. It's, I'm getting tired of everything. It's not true. It's true. I'm fed up. You've not given it all it deserves. All I need from you is time and attention. Unfortunately, and you those are the things I cannot spare for now. No, you all can't. Right? You can't do it. Anymore. I can't. I'm tired. Don't you get it? I'm tired of everything. I love you. Look, and the one thing I want you to let you know is this. 
I don't ever want to see you in my house again. Just stop no, coming near my house again. I'm, and I'm serious, so no, no. stay away from me. Please, please, I'm tired. No. I'm so tired of you. I Fed up. You. Austin, I love you. Don't go, please. Please, please, I beg you. I love you. I love you so much. I you know I love you. But don't my heart. Don't leave me. You know how it's that. You know how much, how much you care. Don't go like that. Come on. No, 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 don't go, don't go, please, I don't, I do, look at me, just, no, don't go, I'm, if, if there's anything I've done, I'm sorry, we're going to turn it around, I beg you, we can do it. Since you don't want to sleep, you prefer to stay awake. I have a better option. Hmm? Now get into the sitting room, pack all the clothes there. Go and start washing them right now. If you cannot sleep, you can as well be busy. Sorry.
Priska, why are you shivering? There, your temperature is high. I'm all right, sir. I'll be fine. Wait, does mom know of her condition? No, sir, please. Priska, leave the ditches. You're shivering so much you're still thinking about ditches. Look, you need to go to the hospital now, okay? No, sir, please. I'm all right now, sir. I'm all, I'm all right. Priska, please. You need medical attention fast. My mother will be out for a long time. Why are you punishing yourself? Please, let's go. Let's go. All right? in as you please, isn't it? Hmm? Look at my whole house. My sitting room is in a total mess. My kitchen is smelling terribly. Are you walking majestically with my stupid son? You are accomplished, I suppose. Eh? Mom, mom. Priska is sick and I had to take her to the hospital. She has malaria. Oh, really? <laughs> you are sick? I see. Why don't you just die and join your miserable parents wherever they are? Let me give you a befitting burial. Hey? You are sick. Because of your stupid sickness. That's why you left my whole house in a total mess. Eh? No, I can't allow you to do this, Mom. I can't. Stay out of this. Stay out of this or you regret this, Austin. Mommy, okay, I mean it. I cannot allow you to do this. Let me go upstairs and come back and meet my house in this mess. I will roast you like corn and eat you up. Sally, you are sick. You are not sick yet. Sorry, Finn. You shouldn't have done that, sir. I know what the trouble. Don't you dare say that. Don't you. Go fashion up. <coughs> Just go fashion up, okay?
Oh, Stylo, relax. Nothing is happening. Relax. Eh? Boy, it's not a laughing matter now. It's not a laughing matter. You know now. Look, I've tried everything. Everything to get this babe. Even to go against my mother for her. Still no show. Not even a common kiss. A kiss. Ah! Austin. Austin, see, see, see. If that is your problem, just consider it's done. Why am I the prof? Eh? I'm the prof, okay? Relax. What are you talking about? Now listen. This is the way the game goes. It is a perfume from Pakistan. And see, Austin. Perfume this... from Pakistan. Relax, Austin. This is the way. You are going to use it. Listen attentively. You Are just you have to spray it in your room. Listen, not on you or on her, in your room. <laughs> and see the result. See the actions to my reaction. Relax, man. I'm the prof, where, where, man. Now, where are they? Where are they? I'm the prof. Where are they now? Relax, relax. Right, I'll try. Relax. Don't worry. Priska. Priska. Yes, sir. How many times have I told you to call off this sort of thing? I mean, just call me my name, okay? Anyway, I want you to go to my room, the bathroom, pick up the clothes there, and wash them, okay?
Jesus. What's I going to suffer in total pain? I lost my pants. My home. My freedom. I love. I lost my virginity. I'm going to lose. But in my life. Because, mother, I have to wait to you. What I don't know is, are you concerned of that? And what all this happened to me? I mean, what's going to fall, but it's for you to love me. It's for me. It's for me. It's for me. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore, mother.
aside, mother. Step aside. Or be prepared to disown me as your son. Step aside, mother. What do you want? You are a despicable mother. You make me sick. How can you carry so much hatred in your heart and you still breathe, mother? Ah! Where are you going with those kids? Where are you going? Your father has warned you not to touch any of his cars. Leave my way. Leave my way, mother. Leave my way. You place a hot iron on someone's daughter's back. You are a heavy incarnation of everything. Everything that I despise, mother. So Leave me alone. Let's see what we can do. Get back! Open it Submit it to your decks before the end of today's work. Good. Well, uh, gentlemen and ladies, we have to expedite action on this project. As you are all aware, we are not going to get an extension of debt at the expiration of this one. Sir, we are assuring you that as long as we continue to have regular supplies of material to the site, we we will meet up with the completion deadline. Definitely, sir. Well, that is reassuring enough. Please sit down. In the interest of all of us, let it be that way. Because we will be talking about millions of Naira losses if we fail this deadline. Hello? Yes, Austin. Why are you calling me in the office? What? Hospital? Where is your mother now? Okay, I, 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 I will be on my way right now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay. I, I have to postpone this meeting for another time. Very good.
go out, okay? Don't worry. You're good. You're good. You're good. Take it easy, easy. Just quietly. Oh, that is nothing, it's just a bit marker. did this to this young girl must be very wicked. Doctor, please. Whatever it takes. I don't mind. I don't want anything to happen to this young girl. No problem. We're going to take care of that. Doctor, please. Try your best for us. What was that mark on her hand? Will any of your client want to buy a baby with a mark? Oh, that. It's just a bad mark. Have you forgotten? The girl you sold to me, just... You... <laughs> Who is she? Oh, um, her name is Priska. Uh, she's my house girl. The information she gave us uh, is that um, she was adopted by Chief uh, Ike. She will stay with us uh, since that time. Chief Ike. Oh, it's okay. It's okay.
the girl that was just brought in. What's her name? Why this sudden interest in my girl? I did not come here to be interrogated. What's her name? You don't understand. They call her Priska. She's the housemaid to one of our long-time clients, Chief Doe Notice. She was adopted by Chief Gregory Ike before he died. What? Household? Chief Ike? Jesus Christ. That's the girl you sold to me 18 years ago. She was adopted by Chifike and his wife, Gladys. And since I heard of Chifike's death, I've been looking for her everywhere. She has a tumor on her left arm. Don't you remember? Product is ready now. Product, okay. Uh, what's the sex of the product? F female. A female. Aren't you giving me too many females these days? Well, it's okay. I can manage that. Okay, um, I'll be on my way to your office right away. No, no. Don't come to my office. Let's meet at the Bruno. But then the product will be sent to your orphanage. Okay, that's even better. Tomorrow morning, I'll pay in 200,000 to your account. How about that? No. 400. Okay, now listen. Um, I'll do something about that. But I won't give you 400,000 like you said earlier. I don't have that. I can give you 300,000. How about that? Okay. 300 is okay. That's a trouble. That's a serious trouble. It means the girl is living with her real father as a household. I don't understand. You mean Chief Donatus is a Priska's biological father? That's just it. Does anyone know yet? Then that will be our natural secret. If he gets out, there will be trouble. Ah. <laughs> oh, there will be plenty of trouble today. So, my daughter is going to be the last person they will say. Damn, let me finish this. Let me finish this. No, 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 you made my step up, Papa! You! Hey! You made my step up! Go oh, by the way! Daddy, please leave me! Leave me, Daddy! Leave me! Leave me! It's all right! Oh. It's all right! Just go and get this! Then I'm gonna go! Don't sit down there! They're going nowhere! Papa, in the police! Then I can't leave you like this! Oh. I don't want this part! So I can't leave you! Don't worry! I can't leave you! I'm on the ground! Don't worry! Don't worry! Today! It's your judgment day! Yes! Today is your judgment day! Daddy, keep your hands there! I'll be right back! No! You 
sold my daughter to the highest bidder. You sold my daughter to the highest bidder just because of your uncontrollable greed for money. I'm so, so sorry. So, so sorry. And you, you and I come please. I am going to deal with you. Two of you. For every pain you suffered in the last 18 years, I am going to snuff out of you. For every pain and blood she shed in the last 18 years, you are going to pay tenfold. What have I done? Rip my own sister. Oh, God. How can I even live under the same room with her? After your atrocity I have committed against her. What was I thinking? Why? Among the millions of women in this country, the only girl, the only woman I had uncontrollable passion for is my sister. That you so wickedly refers to happens to be your daughter. Priska, my sister, your own flesh and blood, mother. What? My daughter, because she stays in my house, eats my food, sleeps in my kitchen. My husband and my son under her spell. That now qualifies her to be my daughter. You must be crazy. In fact, you are insane. Cut madness out of this, mother. Your child did not die 18 years ago, as supported by Dr. Sylvester. He sold her out to a children's care center. She is Priska, the girl you have brought hell upon, mother. Priska, my daughter. Yes, Priska is your daughter. And she's in the hospital battling with her life for being a victim of your wickedness, mother. For being a wicked of your wickedness. Your wickedness, mother. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? No.
Sir, nurse. You better get all your nurses to sack my daughter right now. Otherwise, this place will get your nurses. Please, you should go into the walls. Get that for her, please, please. Move it! Like this. You go all like this. Move on. Move on. Okay, sir. Move on. Move on. Move on. Child Move on. She's wearing a, a brown top and she has a wound on her back. Did you see any girl walk past her? Um, I don't know. I, I don't see any kind of girl. You, you didn't see any girl no, like that? I, I did not see her. I don't know. All right, thank you. My light is gone. My life have tried to live like a death. No home, no joy, no peace, no love. All my hope is gone. I receive more sorrows and everything I do. I receive nothing but pain. I save the moments, girls. My death has prevailed. This is the passion of my blood. Passion. And my days are filled with my tears. Days are filled with tears. And the life is full of pain. Oh, pain. So my sorrows in my sorrows life. In my life. This is the passion of my blood. Oh, and my days are filled with tears. Life is full of pains, so my sorrows in my life. 
I can't take it anymore. This is too much to bear. I have to put an end to all of this. I have to. I try to save my fate, cause I'm a stranger here. I belong to nowhere. This is the passion of my glory. Passion of my glory. my days are filled with tears. With tears. And the life is full of my life is full of So my soul is in my soul. In my this is the passion of my life. Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. I'm on our trail. Yes, sir. No, Daddy, no. If I don't find Frisca, I am not coming back home, Daddy. Yes. If I don't find her, I'm not coming back home, Father. I'm not. I'm not coming back home. Yes, Daddy. I'm not, Daddy, I'm not. My days are filled with tears And my life is full of pains So my soul is in my way So much pains, my tears, my light is gone My life have tried to live like a death No home, no joy, no peace, no love all my hope is gone. I receive more sorrows and everything I do. I receive nothing but pain. I every moment's ghost. My death has prevailed. This is the passion of my blood. Passion. And my days are filled with my tears. My days are filled with tears. And the life is full of pain. Oh, pain. So my sorrows in my sorrows in my life. This is the passion of my blood yeah. And my days are filled with tears yeah. And my life is full of pain So my sorrows in my life I found myself nowhere All my strength is gone It should have been this way No more, no joy, no peace Fisca, you're, you're, you're my sister, my blood sister. Fisca, we, we, we found out the truth. How? My mother, your auntie, it's your true mother. My father, it's your real father. Please forgive us. We know we've wronged you in many ways. Please forgive us, Fisca. How? Please forgive us. My mother gave that to you 18 years ago. And you were stolen by a doctor. A doctor stole you away from us. That's what happened, Prisca. You, you mean a auntie is my mother? Yes. My, she is my, your true mother. Your blood. Mr. Prisca, Prisca, Hello, Daddy. Yes, it's me, Austin. Yes. I found her. Yes, Daddy. We're in Havana Hospital. Okay, Daddy. Yes, sir. Okay, sir.
Madam, please leave now as you can see she needs rest. Don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? She's going to be fine.